time we come to a large scale exercise, before we actually go and train with uh, real time with these companies and units, we like to go out and sit down on the ground with them, bring everybody together and show them the capabilities of the aircraft, the capabilities of our medical teams on the aircraft, and as well as aircraft safety and things to do and not to do around an aircraft. So that's what we call a Med 101. So we go out, shut down, and have that speech, have a little talk, kind of have a conversation with the crews, uh, guys and gals on the ground. And then um, the thing after that, we call it a cold and hot load training. So basically, we're going to have teams pick up a patient on a litter and help load into the aircraft with the blades off and everything off. And then we'll turn around once that's done and we'll do it with the blades spinning because it's a whole different effect and feel when the aircraft is running and the blades are spinning. It, you can't hear, it's, it just makes things more difficult. So we try to do that to give all these teams an idea of what it actually feels and, and is like loading a patient onto an aircraft with the blade still turning. And then once that's done, then in the following days, then we can start the actual missions coming out and uh, picking up patients from the battlefield. That way soldiers on the ground have an idea. Hey, I did this the other day. It made sense. I already know how it feels. Now I can effectively go in there and be safe and get the patient where they need to be. We're here to be another asset, kind of a support asset to the ground units. We're out here to support them, join in on their training and kind of be that connecting link between the soldier on the battlefield and the surgical unit. So it, it's, it's good training for us and it helps connect those two entities, the wounded to where they need to be, a higher level of care. And it also helps in the force multiplying. Hands-on to me is always the right way to do it in real time. You can create a PowerPoint and you can set soldiers or people in front of a PowerPoint and show them what you think they need to know all day long and what makes sense to us, but they're never really gonna know the full meaning or the full feeling of doing these things until they get out there, they get in their kit, we train as we fight, they do the actual bringing the patient in and loading them up. You're not gonna know how that feels until you've done it. So it's critical. It's critical to be able to go out and do med 101s and hot and cold load training to be able to effectively feel safe for us and also be safe for the folks that are bringing the patients in. Thank you.